Um, I don't know if you looked into it, but uh, there's a creation Elon Musk. Have you heard of uh, Rimat? I'm afraid not. Oh, uh, sorry. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Of course, everyone is mispronouncing it as Rimac. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not the American version. It's the cre- <laughs> we pronounce everything how it's written. So it's Rimac. <laughs> Uh, that's basically his last name. His name is Mate. Um, he's from one of the stronger colleges in Zagreb, and he's really a techie guy. Um, he is creating his own um, super fast electric car. Like I think his yeah, he does really high performance like hyper cars, isn't he? Yes. Um, yeah. I super feel like cool. he's in the stage where uh, Elon Musk first introduced the original version of the Roadster. Hmm. Um, right now, he, he made um, electric bikes to kind well, of... I think, I think he's kind of, like, he's aiming above what Elon was aiming for with the Roadster because Elon was looking to make not a mass market car, but a car that would, you know, be sold to quite a few people. I think um, Rimats is, is aiming more towards the Bugatti Veyron kind of crowd. Yes, yes. Um, the, he's, he's going in the direction of, like, making 50 of them and selling them yeah. for a, a gazillion dollars. Seven million, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but so far he's doing really, really well. I think he partnered up with Porsche or one of the bigger like um, car companies and they're kind of supporting him. Um, I know that he drags his car all over the like auto show, um, you know, like big conventions where they're displaying new concepts. And so far I know that they managed to make it like really, really fast. And it's really like a, a, a supercar fast where it's like, I don't know the exact spec. I think literally the, the classification is hypercar. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's so insane. Yeah. Um, we should do like, uh, and I also heard about another competitor called Neo. They're from China. Um, mm. Maybe we should do the um, follow up episode on this and kind of talk about other electric cars and kind of see what other companies are doing. Uh, and kind of follow this whole trend of what's going on. Like this, this could be a regular like one month thing that we do and just kind of follow up on, on uh, what everyone's doing. Um, I've been listening to an interesting podcast on, uh, I think it's called Millennial Money, where like four YouTubers that have made a bunch of money on YouTube are kind of discussing where they're putting their money and how they're allocating it. And a bunch of them are like, should we invest in Tesla? Like short term, long term, like what do we do here? In my opinion, Tesla is a really long play, and SpaceX, of course, because SpaceX haven't even IPO'd yet. Um, They'll be spinning off Starlink once it comes up to full capacity. Yeah, so like that's in my mind how early we are in this whole thing. Like we still don't have like every car electric, right? Mm. We still don't have the whole industry catching up to the standard of making it. Like, all right, why are we even using gas? Like, you know, like. we don't have I'd say it'll probably be 2035 before it starts getting weird to see a combustion car on the road. I think they will be sentimental. Like there will always be people like as Joe Rogan says, like, I want to sit in the car and like drive it myself, like yeah. feel the engine roaring. You know, like I get that. I, I feel yeah. the same way. Like I, I feel both arguments. And yeah, I, I just see both of them existing for a long time now. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold Podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip. 